In the desolate winter of 1922, an ominous fog cloaked the Hinterkaifeck farmstead, nestled deep in the heart of the German countryside. Andreas Gruber, a stoic farmer, lived there with his wife Kazilia, their widowed daughter Victoria, and Victoria's two innocent children, Kazilia and Josef. The household was complete with a maid named Maria Baumgartner, whose presence would soon be overshadowed by the unspeakable horrors that awaited. The farm, surrounded by whispering woods, bore witness to strange footprints in the snow, a chilling omen that defied explanation. Footprints that led from the dark embrace of the forest to the farm, but never back, as if some malevolent force had approached under the shroud of night, leaving an unsettling mystery in its wake. But the footprints were only the prelude to a series of unsettling events. Noises, guttural and otherworldly, emanated from the attic, shattering the tranquility of Hinterkaifeck. Andreas, the patriarch, discovered a mysterious newspaper within the house, a harbinger of doom that none in the family could claim as their own. Keys vanished into thin air, leaving the family vulnerable and clueless. The neighbors, uneasy and sensing an unnatural stillness from Hinterkaifeck, decided to investigate. What they uncovered was a scene of horror etched into the very fabric of the farm. The barn and farmhouse stood as a testament to unspeakable brutality as the Gruber family and their maid lay lifeless, victims of a ghastly crime. A mattock, once a tool of the farm, had become a weapon of nightmares. The motive remained elusive, a malevolent riddle that defied reason. Robbery was dismissed, the valuables within the house remained untouched, mocking the investigators with their silent testimony. The autopsy unraveled Maria's torment. She had clung to life for agonizing hours after the initial assault, a cruel dance with death. Rumours whispered through the townsfolk, tales of an unknown presence living in the attic, a vengeful spectre haunting the once hallowed halls. Hinterkaifeck, now tainted by an unspeakable darkness, became a spectral ruin, the very air thick with the lingering essence of tragedy. The farmstead, its timbers creaking in protest, met its demise in 1923, raised to the ground as if to cleanse the soil of the malevolence that had taken root. Yet, the Hinterkaifeck murders refused to fade into obscurity, becoming a spectral tale that echoed through the ages, a chilling reminder of a malevolent force that defied explanation and left a permanent mark on the pages of history.